Now to the Weather Authority forecast. Meteorologist Violet Skyber is in with a question about what might happen inside your house later this week. <laughs> yeah, it's an interesting situation because we could go from needing the AC tomorrow mm -hmm. to then the heat in a couple of days. Question mark. 48, that's, that, <laughs> that may be a no for me on the heat. It's a borderline. It's all based on preference. <laughs> but I mean, 40s is definitely still cool and well below average for this time of year. Definitely a good day and night to keep the windows closed. Maybe keep any of the heat that's in your house inside so that you won't have to turn the heat on come Thursday. But we will be seeing a big change in the temperature because of a strong system that will be rolling through late Tuesday into Wednesday. That's what's going to bring us that huge drop in the temperature. For right now, things are relatively quiet in central New York. We do have some lingering showers to the east as we take a live look from our triple Doppler radar sponsored by Falso Service Experts. But our next soggy system is not far away on the other side of Lake Erie. Before this thing arrives, we'll get that warmer air tomorrow, feeling more like summer and a relatively quiet day up until about 5, 6, 7 p.m. That's when we're tracking this rain working its way in from the west, and it could even bring the risk for flooding in parts of central New York. Then after this wet weather system rolls through, we'll get a huge drop in the temperature as a northerly flow develops behind that cold front. So the flooding risk that I mentioned is going to be Tuesday night and overnight into Wednesday morning up until midday. Midday is when the rain is ex expected to taper off and the best risk for flooding will be for areas east of Syracuse. That's where we're expecting to get the heaviest and steadiest rainfall. If you are planning on mowing your lawn, get it done tomorrow before this wet weather maker arrives, looking to arrive closer to just before sunset. And once it rolls through Wednesday, your lawn is looking pretty soggy. Even though it dries out Wednesday afternoon, your lawn is probably still going to be wet. Thursday and Friday, though, the weather dries out and looking nice as we head into the weekend. Timing this out with your future cast. Quiet for this evening in central New York. Some sprinkles to the east that are exiting to the east. And temperatures in the upper 60s right around 70 degrees right now. But cooling off through the 60s this evening. So probably want some extra layers if you're planning on heading out to dinner. By 10 p.m. tonight, we'll be in the lower 60s with clearing skies. And we'll get some valley fog developing overnight and by tomorrow morning. So starting off with that fog and some cool temperatures in the upper 50s. As we go through the day tomorrow, it will be warming up very very quickly by midday in the low to mid 70s, then reaching about 80 in the afternoon with increasing clouds as that next wet weather system arrives. Around 5 p.m. is when most of the action moves in across the north country, looking to reach Syracuse closer to 6 or 7, which is about the sunset hour, and continuing as we go overnight into Wednesday morning with some steady widespread rain. But eventually that will head out midday with drier we weather Wednesday afternoon. And rainfall totals, as I mentioned, the best risk for flooding is east of Syracuse, where we could have upwards of one to two inches of rainfall from this system. After that soggy system rolls through, we dry out Wednesday afternoon. A few lake sprinkles Thursday, sunshine for the end of the week, and warming up in the 70s for Wayne's Canine Carnival on Saturday and staying nice and warm Sunday, Monday. Michael. Thank you, Violet. As we continue.